Hey, hey guys, I'm um, back. I haven't made a video in 10 months. Sorry about that. Um, I've been thinking about what type of content I want to make on this, uh, on this channel um, in relation to my Twitter content. Uh, Twitter content is more of like a live commentary of things I'm seeing, but I do want to kind of go back to making video content. And not only that, I, I want to go back to uh, kind of making shorter content. You know, a lot of my beginning videos were about an hour long. I want to make some shorter videos with specific titles of, of little things um, that could just help traders out. So I'll, I'll probably go back to making some longer videos in the future, but um, kind of regarding more um, advanced topics. But in the meantime, this is going to be a short video. So this video is about um, just a simple scan uh, in Thinkorswim, which is a charting software offered by TD Ameritrade. Um, if you're a US citizen, it's completely free. You don't need to put any money into a TD Ameritrade account to get Thinkorswim. Um, in other countries, I know it costs money. Uh, I think in Canada, you need like a $25,000 account uh, to even have the software. But if you're in America or maybe some other countries, it's free. Um, so uh, a big thing, a really important thing when it comes to uh, scanning stocks in terms of micro caps is uh, pre-market gappers, right? You want to see what's up in the pre-market. Um, and you know a lot of a lot of trading software either you have to pay you know thousands of dollars a year in order to scan the pre-market or you have to use some type of, of time delayed pre-market scanner which uh, both suck uh, so luckily thicker swim uh, solves this it's completely free just maybe not a lot of people know exactly how to use it so um, I have my scan uh, my pre-market scan uh, my main one that I use um, open right now um, Really, you know, you see some basic stuff up here, like minimum price. This is the closing price of yesterday, 50 cents, up to $30. I have another scan that will pick up stocks over $30. For example, when meme stocks and GME and AMC were going wild, I have another scan that would pick those up. Uh, but in the meantime, this is just kind of like a basic scan I'd use. Uh, minimum market cap, you just need something over zero. And uh, volume, 20,000, super low. I, again, you just need something over zero. Um, but in order to scan the pre-market, the most important thing is this um, is this part, this uh, after hours percent change, which is, this is literally just measuring how much a stock is up either in the AH or the pre-market, right? Uh, compared to the, the close of the previous day. And uh, one thing you might notice is, is this little column over here is a stock, stock, stock study. And that's because when you go to add a filter, you have five options. And most of the stuff you're ever gonna use is in stock, but the after hours percent change is under study. So you go to study, and I believe it's under price performance, after hours percent change. So this uh, this line right here is, is going to allow you to scan into pre-market, right? And uh, very simple. A lot of people might not know about it. I, I found, we know when I was first starting trading, I found a Reddit post where I had one comment that, told, that taught me how to do this. And I'm like, thank God that one comment existed because I was using... Um, random websites to try to uh, scan the pre-market and they're often really ineffective or, or slow or delayed. And I didn't feel like paying $2,000 for some charting software that Thinkorswim already does, right? So uh, the other thing that's really, really important is that uh, Thinkorswim by default, if you look at these columns, you know, I have the symbol, um, the last price, which last would be in the pre-market would be the closing price. Um, and then volume, but uh, Thinkorswim by default uses, I believe, just percent change as percent change by default. And the problem with percent change is that it won't tell you how far up a stock is in the pre-market or the age, right? It will just tell you it only updates during market open. Um, uh, but luckily, there's something called mark percent change, which pretty much does the exact same thing. Uh, just it works in the age the pre-market and market open. So it works in all three situations. So you can actually completely get rid of this. Use mark percent change. Um, it, it's a uh, market open right now. You'll see it's 12.07 market time. Um, I'm making this video just because there's absolutely nothing happening in the market right now that, that needs my attention. So um, uh, this is a good time to do it. And over here, you'll see that I have mark percent change. In my column, I have my intraday scans going right now, but also during the pre-market, um, it will have the mark percent change, which will show you how far stock up is up in the pre-market. So that's really it. Um, use this this uh, this uh, add filter study function, 
look up after hours percent change, close, greater than 10%, I just do 10%. Um, and then just make sure uh, in your watch list, which is, which is where you put your, uh, you put your scans, um, you put mark percent change instead of regular percent change. And that's it, you'll be able to scan completely for free, assuming you can get Thinkorswim completely for free. The only other final, final thing I wanna say about this is Thinkorswim, I had zero dollars in my account. I don't use this account to trade at all, anything. Um, but they were, uh, TD Ameritrade was pruning their accounts recently for any, any, any account that had zero dollars because they wanted to prune inactive accounts. Um, so I went ahead and I put like 50 bucks, I think, yeah. At fifty dollars in this account, just just so I want to get deactivated. Um, I called customer service. That's what they told me to do. So that's what I did, and uh, yeah, and everything should be good to go.